Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. My name is Laurel, and in this video, we're going to take a look at permutations when we have repeated symbols. In a previous video on permutations, I talked about how many possible ways there are to arrange these four letters. And the way that we calculate that is using factorials. So if you're not sure how to do that, just go back and check out my previous two videos. The number of ways that we can arrange this can be thought of two different ways. There are four positions, and we have a choice of four letters for the first position. Once we've used one letter, now we have a choice of three letters for the second position. Once we've used two letters, we have two left for the third position, and then one letter left for the fourth position. So four times three times two times one would be the number of possible arrangements of those four letters. Another way we can think of that is four factorial. Four factorial, in fact, means four times three times two times one. So four factorial, which is equal to 24, are the number of different possible arrangements of those four letters. However, sometimes you're gonna have situations where one or more letters will be repeated. Let's talk about how we calculate the number of permutations or arrangements in those cases. And to do that, let's go back and look at examples using different color Skittles. Let's say that we have three different colored Skittles, green, purple, and blue. I can arrange them this way, or I can arrange them any of these ways. I have six different ways that I can arrange or order those Skittles. So that's the number of permutations. And to calculate that, we would take three factorial, which is six. Now let's calculate if we had a repeated color. So let's take away the blue, replace it with green, and see how many possible permutations we have in that case. When I replace the blue Skittles with green, you'll notice that I have some repetition. So I don't have as many distinct permutations or arrangements. I have some repetition. So let's get rid of the repetition. These two are the same. This is the same as this. And this is the same as this. When we eliminate the repeated arrangements or permutations, Notice that we only have half of what we had. We only have three possible distinct arrangements or permutations. The way that we're gonna calculate it is we're gonna note the item or the symbol that's repeated more than once. In this case, green, we have two green in each arrangement. So in our formula, we're going to take three factorial and we're gonna divide by two factorial. So you can see that we'll only get three distinct arrangements when we have green twice. Before I get to the specific formula, let's take a look at some more examples. Going back to this example, we have six letters, and if they were distinct letters, we would have six factorial number of ways to arrange those letters. But because O is repeat, repeated, it appears twice, we can switch them and it's still the same arrangement. So the letter O appears two times. So we have to take that into consideration. If they were distinct letters, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six factorial, but we have to divide by two factorial to eliminate the repeated arrangements. 720 divided by two would actually only be 360 different distinct arrangements. Let's take a look at some more examples. If we take a look at the word bubble, notice it has B appearing three times. Again, if we exchange those, we still have the same word. So we have to um, take that into consideration. So if we had six distinct letters, different letters, we would have six factorial different ways to arrange them. But because the B is repeated three times, we have to divide by three factorial. So we're going to have 720 divided by 6, which is 
120 different ways to arrange those letters. Let's take a look at two more examples. Sometimes you're going to encounter words that have more than one letter repeated. So in this case, we have M appearing twice. We have A appearing twice. And we have T appearing twice. All of the other letters are appearing once. So in order to calculate this, we again would take the number of letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 factorial. So if they were all distinct, we would have 11 factorial different arrangements, but we have to divide by two factorial. We have to divide by two factorial and we have to divide by two factorial. I'm just going to do it on the calculator. Be careful, do not multiply these. That doesn't work. You can't say that this is equal to 8 factorial, so just be careful of that. Take 11 factorial, divide by 2 factorial, divide by 2 factorial, and divide by 2 factorial. And when you calculate that, you'll have 4,989,600 different arrangements of these 11 letters. Let's try one more example. A classic example you're probably going to see is the word Mississippi. And how many different arrangements can we get with those particular letters? So let's take a look at the ones that are repeated. M is only used once. I is used one, two, three, four times. The letter S is used one, two, three, four times. And the letter P is used two times. So in order to calculate the number of permutations, we're going to take the total number of letters, which is 11 factorial. We're going to divide by 4 factorial, we're going to divide by another 4 factorial, and we're going to divide, divide by 2 factorial. And when you do the calculation, you're going to get 34,650. So that's how you deal with permutations when you have one or more items that are repeated. If you want a formula for showing the number of permutations when you have items that are repeated, the formula looks like this, where n represents the total number of items, so in this case we had 11, and then N1 represents the number of times one particular item is repeated. So I was repeated four times, so we had four factorial. N2 represents another item, how many times it's repeated. So S is repeated four times, so we'd have four factorial. If you have another item that's repeated, then you put the number of times it's repeated. In this case, P is repeated twice, so we have two factorial. And so on and so on with whatever number of items you have. If the item only appears once, you don't need to put one factorial in the denominator because one factorial is simply a one.